shucks. I really wish I was more effectively represented in the national body. Wahaha, with the current corrupt system I could theoretically control the legislature with less than a quarter of the votes. Oh no, who will save me from this democratic deficit? Have no fear, a complete overhaul of the current political system is here. Come with me if you want to live. but what can you do to help? Surely the current outdated system is far too entrenched for it to be made fit for purpose in the modern world. Just show me your problems and I'll terminate them. There are no effective checks and balances on Parliament which allows elective dictatorship to be formed. As Rousseau said, England regards itself as free, but it is grossly mistaken. It is free only during the election of members of Parliament. As soon as they are elected, slavery overtakes it and it is nothing. Sounds like what you need is a separation of powers. Take it away, computer man! <laughs> if the executive is separate from the legislature, it will be unable to control it with a majority. This also means that the legislature will be able to give true democratic authority to bills, eschewing the need for a second chamber. You mean a unicameral chamber? Far out! But how can the parliament have any claim to legitimacy if it's elected by first past the post? Simple! We terminate it! Under the single transferable vote system, voters rank candidates in order of preference, which means that after the droop quota is applied, very few votes are wasted. STB also features multi-member constituencies, which means that you are more likely to have an elected representative of your preferred party. Gee whiz! That's well pluralist! Fools! You haven't accounted for the fact that elections can be turned into large-scale smear campaigns by the media, meaning I can win through personal attacks on my opponent rather than having presented meaningful policies. Victory is mine! <laughs> Not so fast, Buster. Take it away, nerd! Cabinet members will be individually elected on their own merits. This will ensure that ministers will be chosen for their merits in the relevant field rather than for ulterior reasons. And a multi-party cabinet will ensure true debate rather than a mere rubber stamp. These elections would also be staggered to avoid voter fatigue. This means that the Prime Minister can't simply use appointments as a political tool. In fact, there is no Prime Minister. With an elected executive body, there is no need for the powers of a head of state to be concentrated in one person. Zooks! Now I'm going to have to learn what the environment is. This is great, but how will this national government respond to my needs as a not- Insert region of your choice. Let's get regional! Regional. Power is devolved to the entire country rather than a few select regions, then effective democracy can be carried out in accordance to the specific wants and needs of different people in different regions. These regions would have a cabinet and legislature, just scaled down. My hankering for fair and effective representation is satisfied. But finally, what if I'm not impressed with my MP's performance? Total recall! <laughs>